This is Taking Stock on Bloomberg. I'm Pim Fox. Now, you devise, it's the name of a company, you devise, it delivers ideas from brokers to subscribers through internet applications. Now, joining us to talk about tracking trader sentiment is you devise founding partner, Colin Beertu. Colin, good to have you with us again. Thanks for coming back. Um, just for those that are not familiar with what you devise is, Explain a little bit about the company and what are you trying to do? You're aggregating a lot of information from brokers telling you what? The main uh, purpose of what we do is to take trade ideas from brokers to their favored clients. So typically it'll be a salesperson sending an idea to a particular client or a few favored clients that are interested in seeing that particular person's ideas or that broker's ideas. Uh, what we provide is a system that conveys that and also measures the performance. So the broker is, only puts the idea in if he thinks it's going to be a winning trade for his client. And in fact, it turns out that around 65% of the people who are sending the ideas beat their regional in index. And given so, so, and what's the sampling group? How many, and what, what, how much input do you get here? It's, it's about 4,000 people. Okay, so 4,000 brokers that, that have the best ideas that are being sent to their clients, they also send these ideas to you. Uh, they, they convey them through our service. Okay. So uh, our purpose is to um, take, take the input from the brokers and convey them to the, to the buy side. Each buy side might have 50 people sending them ideas. We're aggregating all of that and putting them in a nice ordered way for the buy side to review who's good and who's less good at sending them the, the ideas. All right, and there are a couple of components here because it's not just whether brokers think that there are great buys in materials or great buys in consumer discretionary. It's also looking at the number of ideas in specific sectors. So there are some sectors where that seem not only unloved but unfollowed. Uh, indeed, that's true. Uh, the, the broker is able to send an idea on any specific stock. So if he thinks uh, we have a, a lot of ideas today, for example, on UBS. So if he thinks UBS is going to go up, he'll put a long idea. If it's down, it'll be a, a short in the system. And he'll send that to his client if he thinks that particular client is interested in financials and UBS in particular. So he'll recommend that stock to the client one way or the other. Now, um, he's not trying to call the market. He's just saying UBS is going to be better or worse than the market. So the, the broker is focusing on specific stocks. One of the things we do then is to look at all of that data. So there's 1,000 to 2,000 ideas every day going into the system. Maybe that's telling us something interesting about the overall broker sentiment around the world. And we're beginning to aggregate that data. And what we've found is that there is a very strong correlation between the high level, the overall sentiment, and what happens in the market within the next day to three days. So it's interesting. Following this professional money does actually lead you to where the money goes. There's a 99% correlation between what the Tim sentiment is showing at an aggregated level and actually what happens within the next one to three days. All right, let's talk about some of that sentiment because I were taking a look at North America and you brought along some information for us to understand. For example, if you take a look, materials right now, this is the biggest area where there's a lot of interest, right? The materials sector. Indeed. So 19% of the activity in the last 48 hours has been around stocks in the materials sector. And what are they telling you? Are they long? Are they short? Uh, it's, in the U.S., it's largely sh is primarily short. So there's longs and shorts. It's 54 percent short right now in materials. Okay, so a lot of popularity for the materials sector, but the majority of the ideas are short ideas. That's right. Those ideas going to their favorite clients. Exactly right. All right, and what about at the other end of the spectrum? Where are the least ideas right now? Well, an area that's totally unloved by the brokers right now is utilities. Less than 2 percent of the ideas in the last 48 hours have been around utility stocks. That seems to be an area of perhaps open to people to come into the market. All right, so that may be the sort of a contrarian indication that you get from you device. Thank you very much, Colin Beertu, coming and sharing your ideas and also sharing the information of professional market sentiment and what it says about the money going to professional investors.